In this video, we're going to take a look at EcoFlow's newest solar generator addition, the Delta II Max. Most are familiar with standard gas, propane, or diesel generators, but these devices require maintenance, are noisy, they produce fumes, and are limited to the amount of fuel on hand. Devices like this EcoFlow, on the other hand, connected to solar panels, can provide an infinite source of power, require no maintenance, produce no fumes, are quiet, and are very capable. This newest model is unique in that it packs a large punch at 2400 watts of continuous output in a small package. We're going to take a look at practical examples of what it can power, discuss its unique features, and at the end, we'll see how it stacks up against the competition on the market. If at any time during the video you're interested in checking this model out, I'll post a link in the description and comments section below. So let's jump in. What it can power. As stated a moment ago, this unit can output a whopping 2400 watts at 20 amps. This is the highest output of any EcoFlow portable power station, second only to the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Shown here, I plug this into a transfer switch that powers my office. And while connected, I can power my computer and air conditioner at the same time. If you need to power your refrigerator during a power outage, this can be run inside your home as it produces no fumes. It can power an induction plate to heat up water to boil, a portable space heater, a hair dryer, a car battery booster, a grinder, and a saw. As shown here, you can even power a welder at 20 amps. At 20 amps of output, it could power roughly 99% of common household devices. And to top it all off, it's quiet at just 30 decibels at 500 watts of output. Compare this to a Honda EU 2200 gas generator that produces 57 decibels during normal operation. Plus, the EcoFlow actually produces more continuous power than a Honda EU 2200 generator. Additionally, this model has their proprietary X-Boost technology that allows you to increase a wattage up to 3400 watts continuously. This is useful to power devices that draw a lot of power, such as a heater or a hair dryer. Charging. This model can accept 1800 watts of AC input, and you can charge this up from a standard AC wall socket plug-in from zero to 100% in about an hour and a half, or in about an hour from a wall socket and solar panels at the same time. You can also adjust the charging speed on their app, which is useful for scenarios where you need to modify how much power it draws while charging, such as charging from a gas generator and you want to have control over how much of a load you put on it. Additionally, it can accept 1,000 watts of solar input. Shown here, I've got 800 watts of solar panels connected. Another new feature on this unit that's different from previous EcoFlow models is that there are two solar ports. One other feature I really like is the EcoFlow ecosystem they've built with their products working together. Shown here is their dual fuel generator, which can be connected, that detects when batteries are low and will automatically start up to power up the battery. This is useful in scenarios where you need to charge this unit during the night or when solar is not producing enough. Weight. The weight comes in at just 51 pounds. This is the lightest that I've tested for a 2400 AC output, two kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate model. A unit that is comparable in capabilities is the Anchor 767, which weighs 67 pounds, or the Blue Eddy AC200 Max at 62 pounds. It definitely packs a large punch for such a lightweight unit. A closely comparable unit that weighs less is the Jackery 2000 Pro, which weighs just 35 pounds, but it uses lithium ion battery chemistry, which is rated for 500 charge cycles to 80% capacity, meaning that it will only hold an 80% charge after draining and charging it 500 times. Lithium iron phosphate, on the other hand, which the EcoFlow Delta II Max uses, is rated for 3,500 cycles to 80% capacity. So in other words, you get a lot more charge cycles for this battery chemistry, which is why most manufacturers are switching over to this battery chemistry. As mentioned, it has a capacity of two kilowatt hours. Basically what that means is it could power a device that pulls two kilowatts for about one hour. Well, not exactly one hour due to inverter inefficiency issues, which I'll cover momentarily, but that's the basic idea. This induction plate shown here pulls 1000 watts. So I could in effect power it for almost two hours from the EcoFlow. Additionally, it is expandable up to six kilowatt hours. Shown here is a two kilowatt hour battery pack connected via their DC ports on the side. EPS. Some devices such as sensitive electronics like computers or servers use UPS backup power batteries to ensure that they can continue to operate if the power goes down. Now EcoFlow has what's called an EPS or emergency power source. Now shown here, if we have a light bulb plugged into the EcoFlow, which is providing power to the light bulb from a wall socket power source, if we remove the AC power source to the EcoFlow, there's less than a 30 millisecond power disruption. Now the battery switches over to continue providing power. This would be useful for people that use medical devices that need to continue operating if the power were to go down. A UPS is just a battery and will eventually run out of power, whereas a unit like this one can be continually powered from solar panels 
while still providing power to whatever's plugged in. Test results. For all the units I review, I like to run them through a series of tests to help me understand how efficient they are. This helps me to compare them against other units on the market. I've documented all this information in a spreadsheet, which I'll link to below. For AC efficiency, I put this under a 75% load. Since it can output 2400 watts continuously, I put it under a load of 1800 watts and then recorded the total output in watts. After testing this unit out, it drained all the way to 0% and the total output was 1.66 kilowatts. 1,660, the total output in watts, divided by 2,048 watts, the total capacity, gives us an efficiency of 81%. For DC, we ran a similar test. After draining it down, it output a total of 1,680 watts, giving us an efficiency of 82%. Additionally, while putting it under load, it produces a pure sine wave. If you run sensitive electrical devices, this unit can safely power them. Again, you can compare these numbers against all the other units on the market by referencing my spreadsheet. App. One of my favorite features of EcoFlow products is their app. Compared to all the other apps I've tested on various units, this one is definitely the most mature and polished. Besides being able to monitor the systems remotely via Wi-Fi, you can prioritize the use of solar energy via the EcoFlow app when using AC plus solar dual charging. If you have this plugged into a transfer switch, you can program it to power on at peak hours when many utilities charge more, thus saving you money. And as I mentioned earlier, you can control the charging speed from AC power sources. Overall, you've got a lot of options that can be controlled with this app that the other options on the market simply do not have. So here are my final thoughts on this unit. When I recently did my annual best solar generator of 2023, which is a video that I'll link to in the description and comment section below if you want to check it out, I really wanted to give the award to the previous version of this model, the EcoFlow Delta Max, because that model, it checked all of the boxes except for one important thing. The only feature that it didn't have was lithium iron phosphate batteries, which most manufacturers are now switching over to. Lithium iron phosphate batteries are known for their enormous charge cycles and lifespan in comparison to lithium ion batteries, which the previous model of this uses. Now this new unit, the Delta II Max, it does include these lithium iron phosphate batteries. And if I were to do that video over again from a few months back, the solar generator comparison video, I would award the best solar generator of this year to this model. It really truly stands out. It's expandable up to six kilowatt hours, has a high AC output of 2,400 watts at 20 amps. It can actually be pushed up to 3,400 watts with their X-Boost technology. It uses lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry. It can connect to Wi-Fi, which allows for remote monitoring and control. Their app allows for a high degree of customization features that I have not seen in any of the other models that I've tested. And somehow, even with all these capabilities, it only weighs just 51 pounds. I've tested almost every solar generator and power station on the market within this range of ability and capacity over the last few years. And I guess the best way to summarize what I would view this is, is kind of the apex of what these devices are capable of. Plus the manufacturer EcoFlow has really been pushing out innovative products left and right. And at the time of recording this video, they're hands down my favorite manufacturer of these type of devices. They just perform and they're constantly making improvements. Now, admittedly, after reviewing this one, I'm not sure how they could really improve on this as it really truly checks all the boxes. So we'll see. I'll post a link below if you want to check out this model. And if you have any thoughts, any questions or any feedback, feel free to post that below. As always, stay safe out there.